Mata Echo, Africa restaurant. With Patrick and Nima Doom, this is his fabulous restaurant here in Queens. So come on in, come with us, and see how the Ghanaians grow in Queens, how they eat well at Patrick and Nima's restaurant. That's right. Come, so come on, on in. in. Come yes. check it out. Okay, Patrick, we're in your restaurant. Right. Tell me how it all began. Okay, well, um, we decided to. Um, come to Queens because there's no Ghanaian restaurant in Queens. So we decided to pick a local name from Ghana and put it right in the heart of Queens. Ah, the local name from Ghana. From Ghana, right. Where in Ghana? Accra. Accra, yes, okay. Yes. So we decided to pick that name because of the meaning. It means I will sit somewhere and relax or chill. Oh, That's really? the meaning of Mata Echo. So once you walk in here, it means you're going to relax and have a good time. I can see the ambiance is really, it really does represent relaxation. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that's where the concept that's came from. That's what it comes from. about, the relaxing but, atmosphere. But then I also know that you are a pathologist and a school teacher. Yes, yes, yes. I work in this school as a speech pathologist and um, um, I work in a special education unit. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, the restaurant was just to kind of help uh, the family and also to um, um, Ghanaians, uh, a place in Queens where they, they could be. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, of a job, my, my first and my second job is, is, is what, what I'm, I'm doing now. Okay. So it's just uh, an investment to help family and the Ghanaian people mm -hmm. in America. Right. Yeah, and don't forget, uh, my sister is actually the one who is. Oh, actually, your sister. Let's yeah. meet her too. Right. You gotta find her. She's busy in the kitchen right now. Okay. So, so what year did you start this establishment? We started two years ago, about a year and a half ago. Oh, a year and a half yeah. ago. Yeah. May oh, wow. 2010. That's 2010. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. What made you pick this area, this well, spot? We picked this area because we thought that you know we have Ghanaians all around. Lefranc City is like 10 minutes drive from here, mm -hmm. and that's where all the Ghanaians live. Oh, that's nice. And you got a few African people around, so we thought this might be a good location. The perfect hot spots for the Ghanaians yeah. to lay yeah, back, relax, exactly. and chill. To sit somewhere <laughs> and relax. And okay, chill. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, so like, can you give us a tour of this place? Of course. So you can come and just look around. Follow that's me. Check Maybe it out. we'll meet some of uh, the patrons that come. That's right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tori, do you mind? <laughs> so there's some big names that come in to dine here? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the big names come. The actors and the stars from Ghana, the football players, the movie stars. They like to come here because it's kind of nice and quiet. I even heard you have a nice boxer that comes in here, Raynard. Oh yeah, Raynard, yeah, 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 Ray. I call him Ray Chuku because you know, that's what he does. He chooks you left and right. Yeah, he comes here all the time to support us. That's wonderful. Like that. Tell me about your dishes, like what your your menu. Well, we have um, all the popular dishes. The popular dishes are. Uh, we have the banku and tilapia. Mm, banku and tilapia. We have wache. Wache. Which is the rice and beans, uh, mm. the fish or meat, whatever it is. Uh -huh. And we have uh, red red. Red red. Oh, red -red. that's my favorite. Yeah, red red is a soup plantain with the beans. Okay. Exactly. What about not common foods? Because I know a lot of these Ghanaian restaurants, they always come out with the, you know, the primary foods, the mo most popular dishes, like you said. Right. But what are the non-common ones that you do have here? Well, we, we have uh, or the we creative have, ones. We have an Ivorian chef who uh -huh. has a lot of variety. Uh -huh. and anything that you want, he can actually hook you up with it. And my sister also can also let you know what you want you to tell her what you want, she can hook you up. Okay, well, introduce us to her. Where is she uh, at? I think she's going to have to uh, come in right now. Oh. Hey, it's Katie G, and I'm here with Patrick's sister, Nadine, right? Yes. All right, so Patrick's, Patrick directed us to you, <laughs> and uh, he told me that you're, you know about the color scheme, the menu, and all that. So tell me about the whole color scheme, where it came from, the de you know the decorations. Because I see this place is so neo soul and Afrocentric. Right, right. Well, basically, I wanted something really funky, classy, sexy, something that sexy. Yeah, something that fits us, me and my brother. We kind of have this, you know, cool vibrant swagger to us. So I wanted something that related to us. What is so something funky, classy, and who's sexy? Which one? Oh. You and your brother. <laughs> we both have it. We both have it. Because okay. I got it from him. You know? Okay. Okay. But um, okay. it's pretty much something I've been planning for like a long time, and he made the dream a reality. 
reality, but I, I plan, I set it up in a way where I wanted like a smoothie bar, and, mm -hmm. you know, we, we wanted to have like a Manhattan style type of restaurant. Fabulous. And the colors, we wanted to have like Ghanaian colors in there. Mm -hmm. So I went on the web and I kind of like, you know, screened through some designs of restaurants mm -hmm. and, and then we added our own little style to it. So, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And so like, like Patrick, um, he told me he's a pathologist and a school teacher. Yeah. Were you also, uh, or are you, do you have another profession other than running this restaurant? Oh, well before the restaurant I was doing so many things. I was actually doing teaching assistant for public high school. Okay. But I was doing acting, modeling, I was in the entertainment business a lot. Fabulous. Yeah. Oh, so both school teachers and actress, model, and yeah. all that, that's wonderful. <laughs> so you took that, um, that experience and you added it to this restaurant. Exactly. Oh, okay. So tell us about the menu. Because oh, he told me you know more about the menu. Yeah. Um, you know, we have the you have the popular dishes. Yeah. So tell us about the non popular dishes, like the uncommon ones, maybe and then also maybe the new twists that you guys add to you know the Ghanaian menu. Okay, cool. Well the Ghanaian menu has like so many over twenty dishes. But the new dishes we just added are the Caribbean, the Caribbean dishes and the American dishes. Mm. And it's picking up slowly, you know, and the dishes are so tasty and delicious. You Name guys gotta you. try it out. Yeah. <laughs> Name a few of them. Um, we have um, the delicious curry chicken, mm, curry mild water, and we have oxtails. Oh my gosh. We have brown stew chicken, we have curry. Y'all need to come check this out. <laughs> and the American dishes, we have meatloaf, mac and cheese, the real soul food. You know, soul food originally comes from Africa. So do a lot of Ghanaians come in to try that, yeah. the American food? Yeah, they do. Sometimes they like to like switch it a little bit. Instead of eating food, we want to switch and eat some oxtails. Yeah. Yeah. But seriously, what do they go for the most? Over here? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. I would say the jollof rice is popular here. Oh, the babu and the tilapia is very popular here. Okay. The Kayla Willie, we're the only Ghanaian restaurant in the whole New York City that, that serves Kayla Willie. Ah. So they don't play with that. And we do it traditionally, like, like how it's done in Ghana, ah. the peanuts and everything. Yeah, so they love that too. So is it the ivory, we, we were told that the ivory, you have an ivory Christian chef? Yes, So do. does he make the Kayla Willie or does the, do you have some The, the kimo water is more on the Ghanaian side. Uh -huh. When he makes that Ivorian dishes, he makes the Caribbean dishes and the American dishes. Okay, yeah. that's nice. That's um, pretty much everything is signature because we put our heart into everything that we make and it's every single thing, thing you have here is really good. Okay, so, fabulous. Yeah. So how can we catch you? Or what days can we catch you here? I'm here every day, 24-7. Every day, y'all. Uh, <laughs> so come yeah. in and come and see Nadine, a.k.a. Betsy Brown. <laughs> can can we catch you on Facebook? Do you guys have like a website or anything that? Yeah, we our website. My other brother set up the website right now, but we are all over Facebook. Matahiko Queens on Facebook. You can check out um, my two uh, Facebook names. It's Brownskin Nandini or Nandini Brownskin. All right. Can we come and say hello? Oh, wow. <laughs> you didn't mind. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Here, the lovely customers of. Mataheko restaurant. Mm -hmm. How are you loving the food? I already had this. All gone. So how often do you guys come in? Oh, like twice a week. Yeah. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. And you get every, you get different uh, oh, dishes every time. Every time. In? Oh, this is the perfect chicken. Okay. He decides to go. <laughs> what else have you had? Well, I decided to stay Ghanaian today, so I had the jollof rice uh -huh. with the scoop leaf and um, some vegetables. I love the killer with it. Excellent. The exact phrase was just like love with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think Montenegro is going international. Not only do they have Ghanaians coming in, but they have Americans. Oh, yeah. You know, and so you guys have to come check it out here in Queens. I stopped, she went to school. Okay. So then she told me about it, so I just. I came too. And we can catch you here every day? Not every day, three days a week. We gotta share the, the love among the other waitresses. So yeah. Check I'll out study. this friendly wait wait. Yeah. Here, okay. Y'all have best to come service in. for me. Yes, <laughs> get the best service. Yeah. Top of the line. Hey I'm Sam. Sam, yeah. did you also um, put together the concept of this restaurant? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mostly Patrick and Ben doing their thing. Oh. Okay. Just here to support. So um, what area did you take part in most? In most, mm -hmm. the concept, you know, the whole concept, the design, you know, a so little, little bit, a little bit. I'm more on the technical side, so technical. You know, flyers, the website, you know, building coming up, you know, stuff like that. Okay, tell yeah. us about the website. Website's um, it's mataikonyc.com. Should be up in the next 
next month or two. Okay. So, so look out for the uh, website. And coming up. What about Facebook, Twitter? Will you guys be on that too? Yeah, 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 definitely. What's saying that? We will, you know, it's, it's it's big steps. So, you know, trying to make small small steps into you know bigger things as as we get popular, as people start hearing hearing about us more, trying to make another word is word word well heard. Mm -hmm. Well accepted, so you know what? Do you guys ever little. have parties and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, we do. And once, once, once sites up, all that stuff, the events, gallery, the photo gallery, all that stuff, be on the website, you can check it out. Okay, Big so things. thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad meeting you. Uh huh. Back to Patrick. <laughs> so, Patrick, you're gonna sign us out. Right. Say right. what's up to the Highlight Radio fans and friends. What's up, everybody? I hope you all come here, sit somewhere, and chill with us because we know how to chill. Okay. Yeah, to help you to help us to chill. All right. So you're always welcome to come and enjoy the meals and have a great time at Mata Eko. That's right, come to Mata Eko. Okay. Yeah, that's where it's at. All right, thank you, my Highlight fans. Check this out on Highlight Radio. See you soon.